Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the second of my video that I'm filming. The first one was introduction to the gifts that I gave my sister recently from my trip to Hawaii. And this one is going to be on my Cartier Just Include bracelet and Clash bracelet. I did a video on my shopping experience at Cartier and choosing the right bracelet for myself. I also did a, an, I think in that video or one of the videos, I also talked about my Clash necklace that I got. I, I've been wearing this nonstop for, I don't know, like a couple months now. I even sleep with it. I take showers with it. I absolutely love this, this um, necklace. The only thing, like I mentioned before in my other video, sometimes I find it kind of like this, like it's twisted a little bit. And I will link that other video below, but today I'm gonna talk about these two bracelets. So let me tell you by talking about Just Include first. Now there's so many videos on Just Include and Love, and I've decided not to get the Love, especially the regular size Love, because there were too many stories that I read where one just fell off, and you know I just don't wanna even worry about that. And the fact that you can't take it off by yourself was a no-go for me. So I knew that I, w I didn't want the love bracelet, especially the regular size. And I feel like because of my hand shape, it's, I don't really have a very delicate, long, thin, feminine hands. I have a very, I feel like I was said, my hands are very capable looking. <laughs> like I can clean a toilet really well. <laughs> but um, okay, so this is a size 16 just to include in the regular size. I did try the the small just include and I, I've and I like that too but I've seen too many of the small just include where it was a little bit misshapen after a while because you have to kind of slide your hand in versus opening this I, again not, because of my hand shape I felt like I needed the the bigger thicker size of it I think if you had a small delicate beautiful hands maybe that might be okay um, and I just wanted the regular one not the one with the diamonds first the ones with the diamonds the 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 amount of diamonds that they put in there is so minuscule and then but it jumps the price to like several thousand dollars more and i and i wanted to wear this all the time you know rain or shine in the shower and not having to worry about getting it dirty if you had like pave diamonds here it might get dirty i mean it would you know the dirt would just sort of accumulate in diamonds it's just the way it is so i wanted to just sort of very utilitarian um bracelet Oh, one more thing. I was offered by a jeweler a dupe of this, meaning it looked exactly like it, but it just didn't have the word Cartier. To me, it's kind of a fake. It doesn't have the word Cartier, so maybe it's not a true fake, but that's all like you, you decide what that is. And actually, I'd like to know what you think of that. Um, so I saw it and it looked really good and I, you know, by that time I had also seen this and tried it on at a Cartier store, but I just, I just wasn't sure about spending that kind of money for a piece of gold. And I wasn't sure that it was worth the money, which is why I even looked at the dupe of it. And, but at the end of the day, I ended up not getting the dupe because, mainly because I don't feel the same. If I wear something that looks so much like almost like a fake almost like the real one i don't feel the same like i know other people look at it and think that i have a cartier but i know that i don't have a cartier on and i i i don't know what do you guys think i mean it, it just it just doesn't feel the same it's just like when i when I, I don't know if i ever talked about this but i went to chinatown this is long time ago like 20 years ago um, in New York and bought a fake, and this one was a fake, Louis Vuitton a long time ago. And it was, that's a whole other story where we had to follow people and this one guy, and then we had to change vans. And it was just, I felt like I was in a spy movie. And plus, you know what? My sister and I went into an unmarked van with no windows. And I mean, if I think about it, that was crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. The only sanity of all that was that I felt somewhat safe because my you know future brother-in-law my sister's boyfriend at the time was with us and he's like six feet two and I felt like oh you know he could but you know if the guys had guns then I don't know what I was thinking 
stupid. But I'm digressing. But what I was going to say is I had bought a $50 <laughs> fake Louis Vuitton at the time. And it the glue, you know, melted in within like a few weeks. And But I just didn't feel the same. And when somebody said, oh, I like your purse, and I'd go, it's a fake. I got this in Chinatown. <laughs> So, so I know me if, you know, I, if just because I have a bracelet that looks like it's Cartier and people might think it's Cartier, I know myself that, uh, that it's not, that it's trying to pretend to be something else. And I didn't want to do that. So I didn't buy it. I didn't buy the dupe of this nail bracelet. Um, and it was not cheap. It was like, 3,500-ish, because it's made out of real gold. It's 18 karat gold, it's hefty, you know, it's, it was well made. I felt like it was well made, I don't know. Um, I had sort of put this out of my mind and I thought, in my mind, I was thinking, you know what, so many people have this, I don't want it. I want something different. So when I got this Clash brace, uh, necklace, this was in, I think, March? No, it was May, May of 2021. I also looked at Clash. And my sister for, was the first one who told me about that and said, you know what, this looks really neat. At first, I have to be honest, I wasn't like in love with it because I thought it sort of looked like a caterpillar. But I really thought this whole thing with the spines moving, see that, spines moving right here, was so cool. And I also thought, I know there's a lot of dupes or fakes of this and love because it's so it's such a simple design that this, I just thought, maybe I'm wrong, I just thought this would be so hard to copy. It is so unique, so hard to copy. So at the time, I tried the small size. This is a medium size bangle, but they would also have a small size bangle, which is like, I forget, it's, it's like a thousand five hundred, a couple thousand dollars cheaper. And also, I tried the flexible one. And I'll link the video, my most recent video, why I try a lot of it. I bought this when I went to Hawaii in end of September. I bought it, I brought it back to the hotel, and that night, I couldn't sleep a wink. Because I'm thinking, did I get the right thing? Maybe it's not that comfortable. I was thinking to myself, it is not that comfortable. And then I was like looking at these marks. I don't know if you can see. See that? that indentation sometimes I saw I was like and I know it's not bit it's not too small because it can move up and down like this because I did try size 15 which is this is size 16 um, by the way my rich size if I go over this bone is 15.7 centimeters 15.8 centimeters depending on how I measure it so and so I think the size 16 is the right size for me for this. Size 15 would not go over this wrist bone right here, this bone right here. So I, I even though I could do this, like look, I could flip it around like that. See that? In here. In here, I can't. It's a little harder because of my wrist bone. You see that? But it doesn't flip around. It does not flip around. It, normally, it just stays like this because it's oval. This shape is oval. I think Cartier is very smart to make these bangles over, oval. Um, the other thing, do you hear that? Yeah, you hear that noise sometimes. I mean, does it bother me? Nah, not really. It doesn't bother me at all. And I'm not sure what the durability of this design would be, whether these little spine, these little things that move, whether they could pop out later I, I don't know because I, I, it hasn't, you know, it hasn't been around for a decade, decade for people to know. But one of the things that I really liked about this is not only the unique design, but also the closure. Closure is two-step closure. So I felt like it was just not going to fall off. And this, I've also read that some people had this sort of open up, but I remember Kat L did a video where hers opened up and they fixed it for her. And this one, I have to say, this, which you press right here to open and close, and it goes in right here. And my, by the way, my husband didn't like this design at all. He thought it was kind of simple looking and not very pretty. But then he saw the closure and he thought, whoa, that's kind of cool how it opens and closes. So then he loved it. See, it does not shake. That said, one time I thought I closed it and I noticed um, 
later in the day that it like it was a little bit open like this it was open like that so i'm not sure if i close it because if you close it you couldn't hear the click but and maybe i didn't do that very well and it, it was open but needless to say it kind of threw me off and i was a little bit scared that it might happen again accidentally and i try to re recreate that event by like twisting it and see if i can push this portion the bottom portion of it with my skin but i just couldn't do it um so i decided to ensure this bracelet um because i especially maybe i'll do it for a year and if it doesn't happen again then i won't worry about it but if it does happen again i know there's a peace of mind in my mind that i'm covered for any kind of loss this one even though it's more expensive this one the clash which is more expensive than just include i think the just include was it's 7500 plus tax this one was nine thousand something 9,200 plus tax or something like that. Don't quote me on it because those prices change all the time. So it's definitely more expensive, but I didn't insure this because I just felt like this is so secure that it was not just going to um, come out. And if one of these things fell out, I'm, you know, insurance is not going to, like the cost of insurance, I thought wouldn't justify it. I will just take it to um, Cartier and have them fix it if anything happens. So what do I think of it? I absolutely love it. Like I said, I went, I went to get this only when I went to Cartier in, um, in the fall of this year. And I bought it and I started to have second thoughts. Did I make the right decision? Because it did not feel comfortable. Now that said, I am not used to wearing bracelets. I only wear a watch. I only wear a watch. My watch is with me all the time. Occasionally I'll take it off, but usually I wear some kind of a watch. But on my right hand, I don't wear anything. So it took a, I mean, it just felt really uncomfortable. This is medium, it's heavy. And I slept with it and I was like, oh, this is gonna really bother me. Maybe I should have gotten flexible. So the next day I went back and I was, I had went back thinking that I would change it to a flexible one. But as you've seen in my previous video, and those of you who are not subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend to use uh, that you subscribe to my channel because I do videos on luxury items, luxury things that I buy or I review, and also travel because I do travel quite a bit. So I went back and it just, the bangles had more of a presence to me. And the flexible one, although it is much more comfortable, was sort of sliding up and down and it was flexing on, it's like twisting on itself. So I didn't like that as much um, so I ended up keeping what I had and at that visit I also tried this one on and decided to get this one as well now I wear the two of them like okay, this as far as the fit of the bracelet look this is 16 and this is 16 and if I just hang it like this this goes over just a little bit see the back back seems to touch the spine seems to touch and then here it can go slightly over see the spine it goes a little bit over here so what I normally do and I I had no choice to, but to buy the size 16 on clash because uh, size 15 wouldn't go over my wrist bone so what I do to kind of mitigate that is to put the the head of the nail right here. So it kind of does this. And then here it goes over this part a little bit, but also it's, so I know um, one of my subscribers, I'll put her name below, said that she has a 15 clash and size 16 just in clue. So depending on how your wrist bone is, I think you can try that as well. For me, I had no choice. My wrist bone would not allow size 15 to fit on this. Now this will twist like this here, like I said before. This does not. I can't really twist it. Um, I've been wearing it nonstop, including when I go to sleep. And I, I, I would be lying if I say that I don't notice it. At least a few times a day, I do notice that I have this on. 
And even at nighttime, I notice it. And I could take this off at night, but I don't know. It's in the back of my mind, I'm thinking if I take this on and off every night, is that going to wear the class of it over time because it is gold wouldn't it wear down if you have a lot of friction that's just my thought i don't know what do you guys think yes. one thing i like about this is that i usually have now i've twisted this so many times i don't know where the opening is it's really hard to see where the opening is but there is a little lip right here you can see a little lip right here right here see that and you so you catch it open so you open it and then you push this to open it up so there's it's a two-step process and if you look at the inside oh look at this see that see this it is oh my goodness this is what happens this I had this sweater that I bought in Scotland when I was visiting Scotland a few years back and I was and it's just been shedding that sweater has been shedding everywhere so anyway so see the little scallop part right here right so I can feel that here. So this to me is more comfortable because it doesn't have any kind of scallop like this. Also, I think this is lighter. It feels lighter to me. This seems, this is very heavy. It's, it's a substantial piece of gold. Um, this nail ha head does not bother me. And I, I have had like indentation, especially because I sleep with both of these on and I take showers with both of these on. Um, so I have had indentation here, but overall it's not, I get more indentation from this. Okay. Now, so I said that I noticed it now I've been wearing it. What? Almost two months now. Not quite. I notice it, but it doesn't bother me. It's like having a watch. I'll, I'll sometimes notice that I have a watch, but mm, it's okay. I, the only time I take this off is if I'm moving furniture we have been trying to redecorate some of our bedrooms and so my husband and I have been like lifting mattresses and furniture when I do that I do take this off when I okay so I'm gonna let's see click it's gonna click and then I shut it okay you can hear the click now when I wear this together, and those of you who have this, I'd love to know what you think of it. Like, see how the nail head hits this part of these little spines? I don't know over time that's going to create scratches so far. I don't see any major scratches on it with my bare eyes. I don't, you know, I don't notice that it's been scratched. With this, it's very smooth. This is not sharp. It's very smooth. It's very rounded. So um, that's not a problem when when it is like this right if I bend my arm like that is that gonna push this little spine it probably does but I don't know that that's gonna create a problem I it hasn't I haven't had it long enough again this is a review but it's almost like a first impression impression review because I haven't worn this for a decade to say oh my gosh you know the quality is amazing and it's it lasts forever I don't know you know, I do, I, I, this has been around for a long time, but you also know that they changed the, the, the opening of this recently too. It used to be like a little snowman inside and the class used to be different. And then now it's, now it's, you know, they changed the class. So it's easier to take it on and off. Um, some people like the older class better. I find this easy to open and close. And as long as it doesn't open by itself, I, I'm good, you know, but Again, jury's out on that. This, these two, sometimes I just wear this by itself. And if I had a tennis bracelet, some people have a little diamond tennis bracelet or tennis um, diamond bangle right here. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous with something like that. That would be a really nice stack. Or you don't have to stack anything at all because I feel like because this is a medium size, even when I just wear this by itself, it just seems very substantial. Um, and I have worn this with, I have thought of wearing it uh, with my Rolex, but I also didn't want to get my Rolex all scratched up either. So I have worn it with my Apple Watch, though. I've worn the this just include with my Apple Watch, but not with my Rolex because I don't want to scratch up my Rolex. Why is it so big? Um, my left wrist is slightly smaller than my right wrist, but, but I made it so that it, 
fits my right wrist. I probably could have gone with a size smaller, but you know, I didn't even try to fit the bracelet to my left wrist because I usually have my watch there. So anyway, I, I, it was, I felt like this was all over the place, but I hope this helps. And if you found this helpful and if you, you know, if you have these bracelets, let me know what you think of it. Um, I love it. Uh, I think, you know, is, is it so comfortable that you don't know it? You have it? No, no, I do know that it's there, but you know, go from like, that's my perspective of somebody who's never, who never used to wear bracelets. So I, I, Every time I look at it, several times a day, I tell my husband, I'm like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> oh my God, I mean, I mean, you're crazy. I'm crazy. All right, um, so that's it. I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Please click the bell notification so that you'd be notified, ev so that you'd be notified so that you'd be notified every time I upload more videos. Okay guys, bye.